This time, I'm going to talk about how to use entropy and information gain to build decision trees in Python. Decision tree is a supervised machine learning algorithm used to build classification and regression models in the form of a tree structure. Imagine we have a collection of data points. All those data points have many features. We need to classify all those data points based on those features. First, we will put all the data points in this root node. And then we will pick up a feature and split all those data points into two groups. And then we are going to pick up another feature to split all those data points further. We can see this is a recursive process. We can split the data points and then we split data points again. After splitting, this part is called branch or subtree. Of course, we can split the branch into further smaller branch. Eventually, we don't want to split the data points anymore based on our predetermined criteria or the features of the data points. And this last node is called terminal node. And the node between root node and the terminal node is called decision node. Then we have this question. So based on what feature we should split all those data points? There are many algorithms to build decision trees. Here we are going to discuss ID3 algorithm. What should we do with ID3 algorithm? First, we start with the root node. And then we are going to go through all the features or all the attributes of the data points and calculate entropy and information gain. And then we will select the attribute which has the smallest entropy or largest information gain. And after that, we are going to use this feature to split all those data points. And then we are going to use this algorithm continue to recur on each subset. So what is entropy? Entropy is a measure of disorder or uncertainty. And the goal of machine learning models and data scientists in general is to reduce uncertainty. This is a formula about entropy. Now, let's say we only have two classes, a positive class and a negative class. This PI is simply the probability of class I in our data. If we had a total of 100 data points in our data set, and 30 belonging to the positive class, and 70 belonging to the negative class, then the P plus would be 30%, and the P minus would be 70%. Now we can calculate the entropy. For the positive class, we have 30%, 0 0.3. So we put 0 0.3 here, and also 0 0.3 
inside log with base 2. And for the negative class, we have 0 0.7. We put inside log with base 2 and times 0 0.7. And then we will sum those up. The last result we can get is 0 0.88. So, this is our entropy. How to understand what entropy is? Let's see this graph. If we have 100% negative, and then the entropy will be zero. If we have 100% positive, and the entropy will be zero too. If we have half a half plus and negative, and then the entropy will be 1. If we check the formula here, if we have 100% negative here, and then one class is for the negative will be one here and one here. As you know, if we take log for one, it will be zero. And for the plus class, we will have zero here and zero here. Because the pi here is zero, it's also zero. That's why the entropy, if we have all negative class will be zero. And similarly, if we have everything in positive class, you put inside this formula, it will be zero too. That is saying you have 100% certainty at this stage. You can say, okay, the data point is negative. And here, also you have 100% certainty, saying the data point is positive. But if it's in the middle, it's 50% negative and 50% positive. And then you put in this formula, and here will be 0 0.5, here will be 0 0.5. If you calculate, it will give you entropy 1, which is the largest. That means if you have 50% positive and 50% negative, and you have the largest uncertainty. Because if you pick up a data point here, you don't know it is negative or positive. Now, we need to use information gain. Information gain is the difference between the entropy of this step and the previous step. This is entropy of y. And then, if we give the state of x, the entropy of y will change. And we will calculate the difference that will be the information gain. So we simply subtract entropy of y given x from the entropy of just y to calculate the reduction of uncertainty about y, giving an additional piece of information x about y. The greater the reduction in this uncertainty, the more information is gained about y from x. In our case, when we build a decision tree, we want to pick up the feature which will give us the greatest reduction of uncertainty, that is, with the largest information gain. Now, let's use this ID3 algorithm to build our decision tree in Python.
In this video, I'm going to use the built-in dataset Iris. You can see there are four features for this dataset. It has a sample length, sample width, petal length, and petal width. And there are three varieties. Our goal is to classify all those data points into all those classes. First, we are going to load the data set and then we will create our functions to calculate entropy and information gain. This will calculate the entropy and this will calculate entropy for one division and here you can see I will call get entropy the function and loop through all those features and then to find the best split. And again, this is a recursive function. We will call find best split inside this find best split of all function and then we are going to build our decision tree. Let's run the program. You can see here, first, we used petal width. This is our best feature to split and to the left and to the right. And after that, for the right decision tree, this branch, we are going to split it again and to the left and we use petal length and to the right we use petal length and for the left branch we can split it again with petal length and then we will get a subtree for the left and for the right because we used our own functions the output is not that pretty it's not easy to read now let's try to use python building function to build our decision tree basically this is doing the same thing as we just did but it's called this built-in function in Python and then we can display our result beautifully. Now let's run the program. You can see this is the criteria for the first step we split our data points and the entropy is displayed here and after the split we have the left branch and the right branch and for this right branch we are going to split it again with petal length this condition to the left and to the right and you can see we can classify our data points further with those conditions. Eventually, we can build our decision tree like this. This is how I use entropy and the information gain to build the decision tree in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.